Do you want to know one product that is incredibly cheap yet effective in helping you to reduce skin flares? If so, I'm going to share it with you today. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, host of the Eczema podcast and creator of the website Eczema Conquerors as well, where you can get many free resources. I hope that this video can help you. Make sure to subscribe. It might look like a really simple product and you can see it here. This is actually just the bottle and I put the product here. It is one of the simplest products and ingredients out there. I am really appreciative of how inexpensive it is and how it can help your skin as well. This product is actually just plain white vinegar and a lot of you ask for a brand. I actually don't even follow a specific brand but I'm just using plain white vinegar here. You can get it at your store. For myself, I think it only costs around three or four dollars. It's quite cheap. Uh, this is a four liter jug. The reason why vinegar is so effective is that it's actually been used all the way back thousands of years back to Hippocrates. And the main ingredient in it that makes it so effective is something called acetic acid. Acetic acid has a lot of properties to actually kill staph aureus on the skin. Nine out of 10 eczema sufferers have an overgrowth of staph aureus on the skin. When this happens and when when you're going through a flare, what happens is that Staph aureus goes up at the same time as your skin flares. There's a correlation between both. When one goes up, the other goes up as well. When we bring Staph levels down, we're actually able to help bring your flares down too. I've noticed in a lot of our clients, one big thing for the eczema and the rashes and the flares happening is because of an alkaline skin barrier. The more alkaline your skin your skin barrier is, the more it is prone to flare-ups, the more it is prone to broken skin, the leaky skin, and that's what allows bacteria and things from the outside to penetrate into your skin and cause that disruption. Now, the more that we can make your skin barrier acidic, the more that we can protect the acid mantle on your skin. And that is how we can prevent flare-ups because we need a healthy acid mantle to prevent bacteria from coming in your skin. It's really simple for how you can do this. And just a quick note, your skin pH levels should be around a four to five. Often when we come out of the shower, the tap water and just plain water in general can have a more alkaline pH level anywhere from six to eight. And it can actually take an average of six hours for your skin pH levels to go back to normal after you come out of the shower. And I posted on my Instagram before if you want to check it out at Eczema Conquerors, I posted a study of how it can actually take that amount of time for your skin to go back to normal. When we help to spray it with something more acidic, especially after we come out of the shower, it helps to reacidify your skin barrier. The instructions are very simple. What you do is simply, you would take your bottle of vinegar, you would just take for every one part of vinegar, you could just put 100 parts water. If you have 100 milliliter bottle for example you could just put one to two milliliters of vinegar in it that would basically come up to about one to two percent of vinegar and to be honest I sometimes put more just because I'm okay with it being stronger and I do want it to be more acidic as well but some people prefer it to be less strong a more diluted concentration it doesn't tend to sting as well. When it becomes stronger, it can sting more. And that's just something to watch out for. Um, but you can always spot treat as well. You can dab it on a cotton ball or cotton pad and put it on certain parts if you have it on your face as well. But you can spray it everywhere. I do it morning and night and I've done it for my son morning and night as well when he had his flares too. It can be very helpful and very effective. And I've heard from many of you that it has worked overnight. And of course, just remember that every product is different for each person. What works for you may not work as well for someone else. You can also spray it more than twice a day. You can spray it any time during the day. There's not really any side effects to it aside from stinging if you put too much, but it's generally been well tolerated. Another thing is that I've gotten questions about whether you can use apple cider vinegar, and you definitely can. However, we have found that 
the plain white vinegar seems to be more effective and better tolerated. We have had some clients who have flared after using apple cider vinegar. I really hope that this quick tip was able to help you. It's helped myself and many of our clients along our skin healing journey as well. And I also just want to stress and emphasize that one big thing that myself and my team work on, especially in our Eczema Conquerors program, is we really make an effort to get rid of staph aureus overgrowth on the skin. And I know that not a lot of other practitioners will always emphasize that, but that's one big part of what we do. That's why we recommend topicals to help with bringing down the staph aureus levels too, because lowering the flares means lowering the staff in order to help bring down the flares. I just want to encourage you today that you can get through any flare that you have and things will get better, especially if you or your child are suffering. And if you want to learn more about my Eczema Conquerors program, you can check out the link in my description to book a complimentary breakthrough call. And we would love to have one of my Eczema advisors on my team speak with you and be able to guide you on your journey as well. And I hope that this video was able to help you. We also do a lot of testing and assessments in order to help figure out what could be causing your flares. If you're feeling lost today on your journey, that there is a way to get better and that there is hope for you. I hope that helps and I hope you have an amazing day.